Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Raven, and I am back with this war of mine. We're going to be sending Marco back out to scavenge. Pavel's going to go on guard, and Bruno's finally going to get a night off of standing watch. So, we have a few options. There is danger in the supermarket, uh, but there are a lot of goods there. The quiet house, a housing estate that remains almost untouched, an area of calm. Most of these houses are still inhabited with people trying to lead normal lives there. We've got nothing to look for unless we're willing to steal. We don't really want to do that. We could go to the shelled cottage and pick up everything. We could go visit the homeless area that has materials, weapons, and parts. We could go to St. Mary's Church where caution is advised. Might have something to give away or trade. Hmm. Huge amounts of food, I feel like. It's dangerous, but I need some place where we can get food because we're really low on food. Um, I mean, we could trade for food, but we don't really have any goods. Some food in the supermarket. Let's go ahead and check out the supermarket. We'll go ahead and take our saw, saw blade and our ax, just in case we run into anything we have to saw in half or people we have to fight. Here we are. Hopefully uh, there's nobody here that's going to ruin our day. Alright, we'll just try to pick up whatever we can and stay a little stealthy. Let's head upstairs first. Oh boy, it looks like that doesn't look good. Oh, thank you for complimenting me in wartime. Uh, looks like we've got other people looking for food as well. Hopefully they're not hostile. We're going to have to try and sneak past these guys. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it looks like he's holding a rifle. Oh, it's a soldier? See if we can't rescue this person. Oh shit. Holy crap. Get him, get him, get him. Ooh. Did he drop anything? Let's see what's on this guy. He looks like he was one of the soldiers from the war, so I don't really feel bad about taking him out, but still, not a situation I was happy about being about in, but it looks like we can scavenge a piece for the rest of this. Let's just see if we can't find some food. Did the girl run away? Is she completely gone? Yeah, it looks like she just failed. Alright. Let's uh, search through the carts and try and find some food. Oh, I was lucky. We could have gotten pretty wounded. We could debarricade that door, but I'm not really sure if uh, if that's truly useful in this situation or not. All right, we need to find food, though. Did we look in this pile? It doesn't seem like there's anybody else here right now, so we can take our time. There's no food. It's weapon parts, fertilizer. Where is the food? Maybe down here? Let's check this out. Oh, is that a shed in the back? Maybe there's something out back. Uh, still no food. Well, one good side note of taking that soldier out is that we did get an assault rifle out of it, which is 
good because now we, we won't have to build one ourselves. Which is nice. But my people are hungry. We need to find food. All these ammunition parts are not really doing it for us. How do we get downstairs? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Did we check this card already? Let's double check. Okay. I don't think we checked this pile. Let's scan for that. Come on, food. Oh, canned food. Hells yeah. All right. Let's check downstairs. Here's the ladder. Oh, looks like we might not be able to dig through all of that. I mean, we could. It would just be really time consuming. Okay, here's some food. So let's figure out what we're going to sacrifice for this. Um, let's get rid of the gunpowder and shell casings. Because right now, the food item is more important. Let's see if there's any other food down here at the bottom. Mmm, tobacco. At least we're getting weapon parts enough. Alright, there's a bed. We don't care about the bed. Let's uh, start digging and see if we can dig out this rubble before the day ends. Oh, so this makes me wonder if Marco now is going to go from content to just really pissed off that he had to kill that soldier. I mean, under the circumstances, I don't know. He did say that he had enough, and then I went ahead and killed him anyway. But honestly, I was afraid that he was going to turn around and shoot me. <laughs> so... Why not just finish the job? And see, like, that's the thing that I really like about this game is the fact that you have to actually think about the ramifications of killing one soldier. Whereas, you know, in tons of other video games you play and you kill, you know, 40 soldiers in the first level and you're just like, yeah, whatever, it's cannon fodder. But here it actually, you start thinking about it immediately because of how it could negatively impact your whole character's experience. But you know, I got faith in Marco. He's a pretty solid guy. He's been doing a lot of good work scavenging for us, so I'm not feeling too bad. Hopefully, we'll be able to use the we'll we'll be able to use the food to feed everyone, but then after that, we should be able to uh, to upgrade our workbench, especially if we can get a trader to come by and we can trade um, some of these more valuable things that we found for some of the other items uh, that we'll need for upgrades. What did we just pick up? We picked up some moonshine. Picked up some water. Okay. The door is locked. We don't have any tools. Okay. So I think this is all that we're going to be able to find this time around. Let's double check the backpack. Yeah. Well, this looks good. Let's debarricade this door in case we have to come back and be a little bit more sneaky the next time. Um, we're almost out of time to do this. We should get it. There we go. And now we can run to the exit and get out. Whew. All right, let's go tell the guys what all happened. What was that, Pavel? Or Marco, excuse me. Marco is back. Let's see if anything happened. We've been raided, okay? Someone tried to rob us. They must have been more scared than us, so we managed to fend them off. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. Pavel was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything and were able to defend ourselves. All right, so Marco is very tired. Bio. I'm glad I saved that girl. How can the military do such things? Okay, good. So we did a good deed. He, he feels good about it, which is fantastic. Let's see what Bruno has to say. My story. I used to be an optimist, one of those people who'd have sworn that war wouldn't come. Wars happen far away in third world countries, or so I thought. Even when I was listening to the news getting scarier day by day, I did not believe all that was about to happen. 
Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and figure out how to get people to do what they got to do to eat. We don't have any vegetables, but we do have fuel. Let's go ahead and burn the books. Sorry, everybody. Pavel, let's come down here and see if we can't upgrade some things. First, let's make a couple of... Uh... Man, we just don't have enough parts. Let's go ahead and make one filter so that we can make some more alcohol for trade. Marco, hungry, content, very tired. You need to go lay down, man. Pavel, hungry, slightly wounded, and content. Let's go ahead and start our water purification process. And hopefully a trader comes by. Please give me a trader. I really need to trade for some parts. Trade in bulk. That's what I need. Let's see if uh, we can make anything useful out of what we found recently. We need to find a damaged helmet to actually make the helmet. Um, broken shotgun, broken pistol. We can make a knife, which would be kind of useful. We've been running into a lot of locked doors. Let's go ahead and make the knife so that everybody who stays at home, everybody will have a weapon now. I think that'll put us up to three weapons total, which is good. And then, yeah, we're just going to wait until around noon or so. I think that's about when the traders show up is around one o'clock-ish. We really need to improve our workshop so that we can start making more stuff. I don't think we need the heater just yet, but I do feel like we need um Oh, sweet. Pavel. Let's go see. Open up. I brought something for barter. Alright, perfect. Let's see what we can exchange with this kind fella. Hopefully he's got a lot of parts with him because that is what we need. And he's got vegetables as well, which we also need. All right, so we actually have two saw blades. I don't know how that happened. Um, we have some quality roll-ups. I'm okay with trading those away. Um, I mean, we could always give the assault rifle away, but I kind of want to hang on to that considering what we had to go through to get it. However, it's not like I really see myself getting into gunfights anytime soon, so let's actually see how much we can get out of this. Food. Wow. I guess you don't value it that much. It won't do try harder. Alright, I still need a lot of these things. Like a lot of these things. Let's bulk that up. This medicine I want to hang on to because just in the case that we run into another NPC, I feel like that would be useful. Although, if we get rid of it, it means we can add some other things like potentially some more parts. Actually, I don't really want this canned food as much as I want... Um, more components. It's very generous of you. Let's. We won't do try harder. It's very generous of you. So it's either going. <laughs> Fine, we can have a deal. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see. We were also willing to trade away some quality roll ups what we picked up in our last scavenging area. What else can we trade? We have some tobacco. We have some herbs. Alright, I'm okay with this. Alright. Let's go see if we can build what we need to build with everything that we've just traded for. We have enough for Bruno to cook. So Bruno, why don't you get up there and start cooking? Let's improve the workshop. 
We don't have to worry about the heater just yet. So long as we build the heater before winter, I think we're okay. Right now I'm more concerned about trying to see if we can build up better trade sources. Um, and part of that is from this improved workshop we can we can barricade up the, the, the buildings so that we're less likely to get raided and lose the supplies. Whoop. Right, so here we go. Herbal workshop, herbal garden. Herbal garden is really important because we can use it to grow vegetables. And with the workshop, we can prepare cigarettes and we can upgrade it to make real meds and good quality cigarettes. We can also start boarding up the doors. Let's go ahead and build the herbal workshop first. Um, I feel like this needs to go somewhere where there's like a fair bit of sun. Because <laughs> that's just, uh, that just seems to make sense, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and, uh, can we put it up here? Is there room for two things over here? I don't know. We could put it down. Nope, I guess there's no room down there. Um, what's closest to everybody? I guess this down here is a lot closer than anywhere else. So let's place that first. And Marco, let's get you something to eat. Bruno, you go ahead and take a nap. Pavel, after you build this, I'm going to have you uh, lay down as well. I'm glad Marco went to that shop. So am I, my friend. They say these cans are slightly nutritious. Marco has courage. That's right, man. Alright, so let's see what we can build here. We can actually build bandages uh, if we trade for pure alcohol. Uh, we can also make cigarettes, herbal meds, homegrown tobacco. Ooh, so that's what we can do to with our herbs. Roll up cigarettes made from herbs that reeks acrid, bitter smoke. All right, so it looks like we can actually use these to trade. Ooh, and you actually get quite a lot. You get eight per herb, which is kind of cool. And yeah, we're going to have you board up the facility. So at least we have some good trade goods that we can use for the next time around. Which is quite excellent. The first board up is going to go here. Now from what I understand, the boarding up of the house kind of prevents... It doesn't prevent you from getting raided, but it prevents you from... It lowers the chance that you get injured and it prevents uh, people stealing items or as many items. And I think we can board up twice here and this patch up here as well. All right, Marco, let's, uh, let's have you over there. Pavel, I'm gonna need you to get some food. I like how everybody keeps talking about how awesome Marco is after that one. It is true. It was an awesome thing. I'm glad it didn't backfire. Alright, so Pavel's going to eat, and then we're going to have him go rest. I feel good about the upgrade. Now, next time we scavenge, we are going to need to prioritize finding food once again, but I feel like we're in a slightly better position to actually look for all of those things. Alright, so I'm going to end the day here. And I will be headed out to scavenge the night in the next video. So for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time for the next episode of This War of Mine.